Hey, welcome everyone. Hey, I want to show you one of the nice features of a Spring Boot application that was generated by one of the initializers. So now the initializer is, why don't we just open that up, right? If we do start.spring.io, this is the web initializer and this will generate a project for you either in Maven or using Gradle. Now, going back to here, this is a very simple application, doesn't really have anything but one, one Java file in it that I've already created. However, what I want to point out is that it created not only the palm.xml, which is our Maven build file, but it also created a couple other files. One of them is an mvnw, which is a Maven wrapper dot cmd in case you're using windows oriented system and also a mvnw which is a shell script which is if you're using macintosh or a linux or unix oriented system to do all the builds here now let me show you one other directory that gets created by this it's actually a hidden directory called dot mvn and in the .mvn directory, there is a wrapper directory. And there's also a Maven wrapper jar, which is an executable. But what's really important is this, maven-wrapper.properties. Now, notice, if we open this up, what this does, this actually says, what is the distribution URL that we want to use for this project? So here's the nice thing. If you did not install Maven prior to using this, you don't have to install it ahead of time. All you have to do is use this wrapper, and this wrapper is going to pick this distribution of Maven, and it will download it for you. Now, before I go execute this and show you what's going to happen, let me copy this, right? I'm going to copy just the location of these distributions, and let's go here. I actually already did this before, right? Um, if we paste this in, here's what we get. We get all of the Maven distributions that you could download. Now, as we see here, scroll to the bottom here, we're actually pulling out 3.5.0, which is the latest version that's released. We could do an alpha version or a beta version. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too uh, okay with that. I'd rather go with this but hey if you are risky you could actually make this wrapper go to one of these versions if you want and essentially what it does even if we look at this we go to 3.5 and look it actually will download the version of this maven binary for you so all we really have to do is say i'd like to execute one of these wrapper files and it will download it now, let's actually go to, because it's easier to look at this, I'm going to go down to a console, and let's, let's look at this. So, if I actually go to this security demo, which is where this project actually is, and if we look at here, uh, we will do a listing. We actually have a MVNW file, right? So, I'm on Macintosh. So let's just try to execute this and see what happens. So MVNW, and let's just say, because we're in a Spring Boot app, we're going to do the spring-boot colon run. That's actually our uh, what we're actually running for this, for the Spring Boot. And we'll click this app, and notice it's downloading from the repository maven3.5.0, and then it is starting up our Spring Boot application. Now, you might wonder, okay, great. Well, it downloaded everything. What did it download? Where did it download it? Well, I did already show you that what it downloaded was the either the tar or the zip file for Maven to install it. But it downloaded it from here. But where, where we really want to go, let's actually go look at where this is ending up actually in our local directory. So actually, if I go to your home directory, I'm actually in 
Mick Knutson, this is my home, and I scroll down and go to my M2 directory. Now, for Maven users, you're probably used to seeing the repository on machines. And of course, you know, in a, in a repository, we end up getting like jar files listed here. But if you notice, we actually have another directory here now. We actually have a wrapper directory, which distributions, and in the distributions, we actually get a distribution that was downloaded, which is 3.5.0 bin. Now, this is wonderful. We can look at where this is at. We could delete these if we wanted. One of the advantages, though, is that if we have some projects that are old, maybe we have one project that's using Maven 2.0, and we have another one here that's using Maven 3.5. Uh, if we had a concrete installation of this, we'd have a problem because we'd have one installation. With using a wrapper, this gives us flexibility to have multiple installation versions on one machine, especially if you're using something like continuous integration. And then another option is, or another advantage is that, again, I don't have to download anything. I can just execute this wrapper and everything else will be downloaded for me. Anyways, hope that helps, guys, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel and see all the latest videos that I have coming out. Thanks a lot. I'm a computer. I love my user. I'm a computer. I love my user.